Welcome to another episode of Task Mathematics. Today's mini lesson focuses on the classification of numbers or the types of numbers. Natural numbers, or what we refer to as counting numbers, include 1, 2, 3, and so forth. They're referred to as the counting numbers because if I gave you a box of pencils to count, you would start with 1. Whole numbers are defined as 0 and the natural numbers, which are 1, 2, 3. The difference between whole numbers and natural numbers is 0. 0 is only found in whole numbers. Natural numbers begin with 1. Integers are defined as your whole numbers, 0, 1, 2, 3, and their opposite, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1. Rational numbers are your natural numbers, whole numbers, and integers. So if your number is a natural number, a whole number, or an integer, it is considered rational. I'm going to draw a little diagram to illustrate. Now we first start with our natural numbers. And we know those are 1, 2, 3, and so forth. Now your whole numbers include your natural numbers and 0. So you have 0 and your natural numbers gives you the whole numbers. Now integers are your whole numbers and their opposite. Notice they're all embedded in each other. Therefore, if you're a natural number, a whole number, or an integer, you are also what we call a rational number. However, there are other types of numbers that can be rational numbers. Numbers that can be written as a fraction is a rational number. Because to build a fraction, you have to either use a natural number, a whole number, or an integer. So 1 over 5 is a rational number. To build this fraction, I had to use an integer, which is 1, and 5, which is also an integer as my denominator. This is a proper fraction. You can have an improper fraction. Suppose you have 3 over 2. That is also a rational number. You can have a mixed number, 1 and 4 fifths. You can also have a negative fraction. So suppose we have negative 6 over 13. As long as it's a fraction, whether it's proper, improper, mix, or a negative fraction, it is a rational number. Now decimals that terminate are rational numbers. So for example, 0 0.25 or 0 and 25 hundredths, to be politically correct or mathematically correct, is a rational number. Now 25 hundredths can be written as a fraction. It is 1 over 4. Another example would be 0 0.5, which is a terminating decimal. 0 0.5 or 5 fifths written as a fraction is a half. Decimals that have a repeating pattern, such as 0 0.333, is a rational number. Now, in mathematics, we would write that as 0 0.3 with a bar at the top. That bar at the top tells you that the 3 keeps repeating. So it has a repeating pattern. Suppose I gave you 0 0.652 
and my bar was over the 5 2. Once I see that bar, I know that this number is rational because this number is 0 0.6525252 and it keeps going. So I know what the pattern will be. Numbers that are perfect squares are also rational numbers, such as 1 and 4 and 9. These are perfect squares. The square root of 4 is 2 because in order to get a 4, 2 has to multiply itself to give you 4. So 2 times 2 is 4, therefore the square root of 4 is 2. The square root of 9 is 3 because 3 multiplies itself to give you 9. As long as your number is a perfect square and you can evaluate it, then it is a rational number. Now if you are not a rational number, it means you are an irrational number. So if it doesn't fall down to any of these categories, you are irrational. Now irrational numbers cannot be written as a fraction. So there are some numbers that cannot be written as fractions. Irrational numbers are decimals that are non-terminating, which means they don't end. An example of that would be pi. The value of pi is 3.141592 and it keeps going. So pi is what I usually tell my students is the most famous irrational number. Another irrational number is e, the exponential. Another rational number that is a decimal that is non-terminating and non-repeating is the square root of 2. If I ask you to take the square root of 2, you would say, hmm, well, I can't do that in my head. Then you would look for your calculator and you would input this in a calculator. I did a video of how to input the square root of two or actually evaluate it using the calculator. The square root of two is actually 1.4142135 and it keeps going. So this decimal is non-terminating and it does not have a repeating pattern. When you see these dots at the end, they're usually like three. You do not know what number is going to come next. So we don't know. So we know right away it has a non-repeating pattern. And finally, for the classification of numbers, all rational numbers and irrational numbers are considered real numbers. They are real. So even though pi is irrational, it is also considered a real number. Whole numbers are rational numbers, which means that they are also real. I hope this mini lesson has been helpful with understanding the classification of numbers. Good luck on your task examination.